Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon. Next year. Here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. There, ma'am. Ah, yes. So you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh huh. What? Uh huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. 
Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. I'm gonna tell everyone! What? Your mommy dressed you today, pal? You made Give my hit list! How do you like that? Give me a finisher! Give me a finisher! Oh! Oh! Use the arm bar! Use the arm bar! Bubble him! Oh! Oh! He's getting beat! That's wicked! It's a freaking massacre! Finally! Some good old teenage bloodshed! Oh! Oh! Use the arm bar! Use the arm bar! Stuff that dorkwad's head up his butt! Kick his knees in! Stuff that dorkwad's head up his butt! Give him the finisher! Give him the finisher! Oh! Oh, he's getting beat! Finally, some good old teenage bloodshed! Go! 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 Ha ha, yeah! Take the hell! Ha ha ha! Fight! Fight! You gonna cry now? Seriously, that was the worst! Ha 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 ha! You're dead, new kid! Dead! 
Hey, you! Break it up! That's enough of that! Break it up! Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately! Aw, oh, come on! Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah? What's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse I me. I said relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? We don't have a bar in the dorm, just a soda machine. What's your problem? I'm gonna knock your ass back to last week. How about that? Can't go wrong. You should probably change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete, Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already.
Hey, Jimmy! Oh, no. Let me show you around this prison. I hope I'm doing this That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Words, stupid! Pulverizing good! Come on, just leave me alone. You, cash, now! I didn't mean anything. Puny ant! You don't know what pain is! This just enough not to smash you! Come on! Let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach him. Careful around the prefects. They don't have much of a sense of humor. time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. 
And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. If I don't get that A, my mom will be so disappointed. Sheets again. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Good work. You have a future in chemistry. Very good. Carry on. Good job. Keep paying attention. You may have a future ahead of you, young man. It was easy. Glad that's done. should be kept in chains in the face. You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not. <laughs> ah! <laughs> come here, you little. Yeah, come and get me. How'd you like the little slingshot, tough guy? I hope the police got my apple. Sports are fun! What if? Please, nobody here. Don't look at me! You're horrible! Hey, Jimmy, did you? I saw him. He ran towards the back. He didn't hear something. I'm out of here! here. Let's teach this new kid a 
less. Oh. How about two black guys? Yes! Yeah. Oh. 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 So tough now. I think we can call that a wrap. I just don't understand the minds of the So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, all right, sure, I'll do it. <clears throat> hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? What? What, what the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey? You were right. 
Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Whoa, nothing, no, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude, chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie. Because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend. Nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. You and me, we can do things. I can't believe I switched my meds again. If I get left back another year, I'll Hey! See if you can knock out the windows in that bus. Can you hit them with a slingshot? Mine. Friends? Friends are for the weak. I'm a genius. Geniuses don't need medication. I despise weak people. Hey, what's new? that tree so you can mess with them. I'm gonna tell you.
ain't no stopping Jimmy Hopkins. I got something for you. So, you're the new kid, huh? Everyone is talking about you. Oh, are they? And what are they saying? Uh, nothing. Just that you're friends with that sociopath, Gary. Socio what? Sociopath. It means... Never mind. Forget I said anything. I need you to help me. Wait. You need me to help you? I've got some library books that need to be returned, but I'm too scared to go to my locker. Do I look like a librarian? No, listen. I need your help. Pretend we're friends. Walk with me. I'll pay. <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks. Two bucks? Are you crazy? Make it five. No. Two bucks? Great. Five bucks. Let's go, buddy. My mom calls me Prince Algy. She says I'm really special, li like a prince, you know? Hi! Hey, Algernon! I heard you wet your bed again. What's his problem? Get close! <laughs> Fighting boys, Jimmy, Jimmy, why are you hitting me? Ever. Beat it. Just step on. <laughs> Stop tickling me and I'll show you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just look at Cover me. I'm going in. Hey, were there two people in that stall? Trent said they went into the bathroom. No more messing around. <laughs> Don't stop! This is great!
I wonder what everyone is talking about this. I can sleep. Much better now. I'm going to have to beat you hard if you don't get over here right now. Oh! Here it is! Thanks, Jimmy! Here's the cash! I'll tell my mom that not everyone at Bullworth is mean! There was never any doubt. Did I hear someone around here? Did you have someone give you cool lessons? Go on, Petey. Go cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to you. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? Oh, you're so cutting. I'm really upset. Actually, I think I'm gonna go cry. Then I'd be just like you. Cry, little girl. Oh, look out. <laughs> Here comes Jimmy. Just knock it off, Gary. You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out in the girls' dorm. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interesting yourself, friend. <laughs> mm. Look, I'm sorry, both of you. I apologize, okay? I just get a little overexcited. Forgive me. Forget it. It's cool. Anyway, I've got a good idea for some fun. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. That homeless guy. <laughs> Come on. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. I despise- This is gonna be fun! Harassing some old homeless guy is fun? It is. And you should be grateful you're not the victim for once. I guess. Hey, Jimmy! Tell me about this guy. Hi, Does he Jimmy. like to go in his own pants? This guy fell on my head. How are you doing? He wouldn't be so bad if he just cleaned be up careful. a bit. What's up? What Let a real man you? show you the.
Where is this dirty old perv? You know, you're not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. Get out of here, you little scum! <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does live on Come campus. On. You jerk! Ow! Let's leave this guy to his welfare payments. Come on, let's get out of here. Just get out of here, kid. Why should I? Because otherwise I'll kill you. What's your problem? <laughs> That's a long story. You got any liquor? No, I'm 15. Well, what about drugs? No. Then why shouldn't I kill you? All right then, tough guy, kill me. <laughs> you know what, kid? I like your style. You got guts. When I was on that ridge in Korea, watching my buddies get killed by friendly fire, I could have used somebody like you. Yeah? Thanks. But I bet you can't fight. You do me a favor, and I'll show you some real moves. Classified moves. Real special army stuff. Cool. Just get me a part for my radio, and I'll show you what the army taught me. What, like how to get shot by your own side? Exactly. If you don't have what I want, you ain't getting no training. You don't have it? Well, what are you doing here then? Come in handy. Cause I'm always girl be so mean. Thanks, kid. You're one of the good ones. I learned this one from this crazy guy I served with. Yeah, okay, he was my brother. Kid, I gotta say, you suck. You got some real promise, Jimmy. Don't forget to bring me a transistor when you come back.
Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that out. Stop, Gary. <laughs> Trying to watch this. Ah, swim team. Intellectual stuff. So tell me, Petey, do you Come like on. watching the girls in their swimming costumes? Does get that fuel your filthy little fantasies? Gary, just get out of the way. Oh, Marion, show me your breaststroke again. Or wait, do you like the boys on the team? Yeah, right, Gary. Which is it, Petey? I see you guys are getting along as usual. I'm just toughing Ow. them up. Ow. Turn him into a man or a woman or something. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Petey. Ah, oh, peace stain. Good to see you. Listen, Jimmy, I need a favor. Bucky went to the auto shop to get some parts for his science projects. He hasn't come back yet. I think he might be in trouble. Please? Why don't you go yourself? I've got homework. <laughs> okay, I'm frightened. <laughs> and I've got a weak bladder. <gasps> oh, I think the bullies might have gotten him. Please, I'll pay! I say do it. It's a good chance to show Russell who's in charge around here. Now run along, Ow. Peace Stain, before you mark the carpet. Yes. We've got to take care of Russell and his boys. Then, after that, take care of all the other cliques. Soon, this school will be ours. I don't want the school. Yeah, well, I do, pal, and I intend to get it. Now go help that door. And what are you going to do? I've got planning to do. Knock it off. <laughs> Sorry. <Boop>. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Hunting season is open. What's going on here? anyone throw this away? That little jerk's mine! I'm going to run right at full work! I'll put you off. This time...
me out of the girls' dorm. I'm not sweating. Jimmy, we gotta do this! Why not? Thanks! Ha <laughs> ha! What a lightweight! Guess you're not addicted to breathing, huh? Helium. Much obliged. Done and done right. Hi. Give it back! Or what? Or, well, just give it back! Are you threatening <sighs> me, Metal Mouth? No, I just, just give it back! You can't just steal things from me! <laughs> Unfortunately for you, my pig ugly friend, that is exactly what I can do. In fact, I can do anything I like in this place. Anything at all. Ciao, Spotty. Give it back! And you should stay out of the girl's dorm, you little perv. Ugh, I see you undressing me with your eyes. Sicko. You wish. Please, will you help me? Do I have to? Yes, it's vital. She's stolen my lab notes. Without them, I'm gonna fail chemistry and I'll never get into med school. Now I won't find the cure for cancer. Basically, the future of the whole world rests on those notes. What's in it for me? Well, if you get them back, I'll... I'll kiss you. Ugh. Oh, uh, that's okay. Well, okay, but... If you don't, I'll tell the whole school you're some kind of sad sicko who spies on girls getting changed in their dorm. Relax. One set of lab notes coming up. Hey, Gary. I need to get something from Mandy's locker. I'm not surprised. You know, you should put a stink bomb in there. It'd be funny. Get one from Fatty. He knows everything about stinking. Did you ever try that lotion?
my locker. Toilet stain. Here you go. Oh, Jimmy, thank you. You're wonderful. You look great in this light. I hope it gets easier. I'm good. What can I say? Something's wrong with the Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Get out. Stop, <laughs> Gary. <clears throat> I'm trying to watch this. Ah, swim team. Intellectual stuff. So, tell me, Petey, do you Come like on, watching on. the girls in their swimming costumes? Does get, that fuel I, your filthy little fantasies? Get, just get out of the way. Oh, Marion, show me your breaststroke again. Or, wait, do you like the boys on the team? Yeah, right, Gary. Which is it, Petey? I see you guys are getting along as usual. I'm just toughening them up. Ow. Turning them into a man or a woman or something. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Petey. Ah, peace stain. Good to see you. Listen, Jimmy, I need a favor. Bucky went to the auto shop to get some parts for his science projects. He hasn't come back yet. I think he might be in trouble. Please? Why don't you go yourself? I've got homework. <laughs> okay, I'm frightened. And I've got a weak bladder. Oh, I think the bullies might have gotten him. Please, I'll pay. I say do it. It's a good chance to show Russell who's in charge around here. Now run along, P-Stain, before you mark the carpet. Yes. We've got to take care of Russell and his boys. Then, after that, take care of all the other cliques. Soon, this school will be ours. I don't want the school. Yeah, well, I do, pal, and I intend to get it. Now go help that door. And what are you going to do? I've got planning to do. Knock it off. <laughs> Sorry. Boop. Stop. Uh, sorry. Truest disgusting. What are you, a wimp, Bucky? 
I'm gonna make you and your boyfriend pay for this! You're about to get hit, jerkhead! <laughs> Now let's get down to business. I love beating you up, Bucky. You're dead! <laughs> To know there's a violent, crazy old man on campus. Thanks, Timmy. That's great. Here, take this. Hey, Beatrice, what's wrong? Two things. Firstly, my cold sores are totally acting up what? again. What? Ew, gross. Secondly, Mr. Hattrick saw me writing in my diary during class, and he took it and he locked it in his desk. And he says he's going to give it to the principal tomorrow. If anyone sees what's in there, I will just die. It's really personal. Yeah, well, nothing like having the whole school know your deepest secrets. Makes your teenage years go by in a flash. Yeah, well, you'll soon find out. Me? Why? In the diary, I talk a lot about you and me. What? There is no you and me. Yeah, yeah, there is. See, first you rescued my notes from Mandy, and then we fell in love, and oh, you brought me flowers, what? and wrote me poetry, and showed this kinder, sensitive side that soon the whole world is going to know about. We're like... Doomed lovers. Enough. Okay, I'll get your book back. Then we can kiss. The cold sores aren't contagious once they start to scab over. Cut sleep to 4.5 hours a night. Increase study time to 35 hours per week. Eat lunch while walking. That's 30 minutes per meal. Li is lithium, Na is sodium, K is potassium, Rb is rubidium, Cs is cesium, Fr is francium. These are alkali metals. Yes, I was a student at Bullworth before becoming the renowned brain surgeon that I am today. H E is helium, N E is neon, A R is argon, K R is krypton, X E is xenon, R N is radon. These are noble gases. Li is lithium, Na is sodium,
Mine now. You're not allowed. Hey, to. you're not supposed to be there. I. Are. Did you get it? Yes, I did. And I didn't read it. Much. Much obliged. Thank you for being my partner for this, uh, project. I always knew I could do it. I'll be a cardiovascular surgeon or a neurologist. I do not want to be a dermatologist. No way. See you around.
Move, nerd! Oh. <laughs> How original. Yeah. Call me a nerd. What next? Four eyes? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt All me! All right, you oh. ask, boy. What's this? Class... Press... Den. Class president, dummy. It says class president. I don't know. I That's don't you? Know. I'm the most suitable candidate I know! <laughs> yeah, so's your mom. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't forget to wipe. <laughs> How's the campaign, Ernest? You'll vote for me, won't you? Yeah, not a chance. What if I pay you? Pay me? Now you're talking. I always knew I was a born leader. <laughs> yeah, but unless you buy everyone's vote, you're never gonna win. Because they are definitely gonna ruin your speech at the debate. Oh. oh, unless I had a security manager. Oh, oh, please, please, I don't please, know. Security please, managers, they please. cost a lot of money. Oh, I have money. I can pay you. Good. I've always been a politician at heart. Welcome! Suck on this! I won't mince words, my friends. This school Careful, needs help. Wimp. My help. I heard you like art class, you fruit! How many of you out there feel you want me to whip you, huh? used by society? Let down I by the establishment? Yeah. Brutalized! You couldn't beat a fly! I feel your pain, my children. Do not despair. Salvation is here, my friends. By choosing hey, me as you your leader, Dumbass. we will usher in a new era. Ouch! This is not right! Tolerable. What are you looking at, huh? Lackluster teaching. Not good Gone. enough. Physical Why education. Ouch! Oh, this job is not right. right. Hey, you guys undone. Full work will be the model for a pure. Ow! Why is this happening? Yeah. Money no longer wastes. Hey, stop it! You. Teacher's pet. That sports are more meaningful for your future. I'm gonna make you swallow this. Then decent textbooks and competent teachers. Say, what have sports you. done for you? Except why do you even try? Cause pain and misery. You couldn't beat a fly. While my opponent. Also, be more popular. 
looking and muscular. <laughs> You're puny! See? Told you he was a weakling! And have the attention of the school bimbos. Run when Kirby looks at you! He just doesn't have what it takes! Ow! You like this, you prick? There are some who say that I Come don't represent you, the masses. Let me tell you. I'm done. I put a costume in your closet. Put it on. Hey, what's going on? Not much. I was just lying here wishing I could be more like you. Yeah, whatever. But I'm cursed. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, cursed by brains. Do you know what torture it is to be thinking all the time? No, of course, you don't. Yeah, you're cursed, you're great, whatever. What else is going on? Not much, let me see. Uh, it's Halloween, all the prefects are at some party and the teachers are entertaining, I use that word loosely, the kids. No, I'd say the opportunities for fun are pretty much nil. What do you have in mind? Come on, you'll see. Let's go get Pete. I got him a real nice Guys, costume. I look like a jerk. I'll... Push too far. Let's go. I'll ask her out one day. We'll wind up married, then divorced. <laughs> Son, what's that on your legs? So, you've been on a cruise ship? I'm really happy then. Maybe I should go feed a... Hey, Jimmy! Come on, Think man. you can Come help on. me out? You're tough, right? Yeah, well, why don't you just chill out, man? It's a little complicated, <laughs> but here's Watch the Watch it! You are, are you blind or just dumb? You're looking to get hurt, ain't you? Real watch it. Chick. Time to back up your trash. I want to watch some mindless. You're going down. TV tonight. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna make you hurt. It's the truth. 
crew. You ain't getting away from me. He's in better shape. you to do this thing for me. Did you get today? Open your eyes, moron! Ooh, that hat is busted. One day I want to fight a gorilla. Don't push me! I'll do it. Oh, many thanks. I can't believe I switched my meds again. imagining myself in charge of a large empire. <laughs> General Cutler made it. Jimmy, I need your help. karate or something. What would you call a yard stick in the metric system? Why was my dad a librarian and not a bank okay. robber? I guess so. Thanks! I'm a genius! Anything Geniuses going on? Geniuses don't need medication! Watch it! Hey there. Jimmy, buddy! 
I need your help. <laughs> Sounds good. Cool, thanks. Don't push me. I can't believe I switched my meds again. I hate to No ask, problem, but I need your help, man. Can't wait to get going. <laughs> Just to let you know.
Hopkins, do you think you might help me out with something? I would yeah, I'm in. Of if Thank you, you kindly. Me. Look out! How it's done. Life is so oh, boring. Okay, here's the deal. We're gonna feed Chad's dog some of this rancid meat. Wait for him to take a dump and then. What the hell? I'm out of here. Whatever, Pete. Okay, let's do this, Jim. I'll explain the rest later. Get over here, you little mutt. Hey, what are you doing to Chester? Typical pauper shoes. He's poor taste. Fool, you're taunting a trained boxer. Why doesn't mom divorce the bum? Oh, cause dad has no money anyway. Dad says people only respect two things, money and influence. trick for a treat. Yum, 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 yum. That's gross. Score! All right, let's go to the teacher's lab. Watch it.
I'm a genius. Geniuses don't need medication. Don't worry, it'll be funny. Okay, get ready! What the devil is going on out here? Oh, God damn kids! Nice one, Jimmy! Another job well what done. What do you think you're doing here? You! Come on! You won't escape your feeding, evildoer! There you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm, uh, we are gonna take over the school. We are not taking over anything right now. Time and tide wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me, look, now come on, I promise you, after this, things are never gonna be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, Gary. Keep a mess. Yes, you're not a you really want to breathe blood huh? tonight? You got it! You're dead! Get close! Come on, Panty! Don't stop! stop this me. is free! Hmm. 
I think that's there. Eh. Not here. Follow me. Hmm. That cage wasn't locked before. Jimmy, over here. Get in there! How can we get at the switch? Jimmy, you dunce! Use your slingshot to hit the broom! Jimmy, you dunce! Use your slingshot to hit the broom! Slingshot to hit the broom. Hey, Jimmy, see if you can knock the broom over somehow. Make it hit the switch. Hey, Jimmy, see if you can knock the broom over somehow. Make it hit the switch. Jimmy, you dunce! Use your slingshot to hit the broom! Hey, Jimmy! See Better if you look out! Over somehow. Make it hit the switch! Use your slingshot to hit the broom. Jimmy, over here! Now here's another switch I used to... Looks like I'll have to hold this down to get the power while you climb to get the switch. Almost there! Huh, a steam leak! I've heard of Great! heats up again. It's right down there. So, 
Jimmy boy, here we are, the hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell! Gary, now I hate you. I know. Russell. Go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. You happy now, jerk? Ecstatic! I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school. And you're just a liability. See you around, moron! Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So, what's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box, the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Okay.
bunch of thieving jerks. What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. Hmm. Jimmy, listen. Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught. Role-playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight whomsoever recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. What? I mean ten bucks. Wait here. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great. has a run. All right, you've got something of Melvin's. Give it up. All right, I'll give it to you if you beat my friend in a little game. He kicks you in the nuts, then you kick him in the nuts until one of you gives up. If you win, you get the sheet. If not, we keep it. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. <laughs> That's some funny stuff right there. Okay, you win. Wonder why no one picked this up. Funnest piece of paper I've ever had. What? You forgot your plus speedy boots or whatever? Hello. This is for you. How's it going, dude? You're slow. Jimmy! Ever. <laughs> Do they? I'll aid you in your battle Are against you evil! Why do you have 
have to be so mean! Are you hurt? Forget it! So much stuff just lying around. You recovered my precious documents! Thank you, sir! You are a noble man indeed! Just give me the money, Melvin. You have earned it, and don't forget about the wenches! Holy moly! That's that! Sure. Achoo. Achoo. Try and get some bits in it. I've got performance anxiety. <laughs> get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again! Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Worn In. I've had these on since last term. <laughs> uh, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. <laughs> Welcome to my store. To Vegas again. I told you it was a good price. Ah, oh, yes, the discount.
law. You need a haircut today, That's yes? That's not trash. Yo! Sweet! I Buy feel low, smeal, that's Bella. it! Um, you better use that meat soon. The clerk said it expires at midnight. Nonsense! There are no fuzzy eaters at Bullworth! It'll last for a month! Jimmy Hopkins, the liberal. All rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh, You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Uh? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A uh, parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? I'm just under a lot of pressure. Uh. Well, I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. <laughs> I Gosh, tell you, he's a drunk. These are very serious allegations, Mr. Hattrick. Get that kid! I wonder, did the army receive my application? I need more growth hormone. Highlight of the day so far.
What is that sound? I order you to wait! You are violating your academic contract! Looks like Hattrick and Galloway are at it again! You! Are you cutting class? Stop that or I'll beat you! I hope the police got my ass. Here they are. I think that's all of them. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome, Miz. Please, take this. Jimmy comes through again. Hmm, maybe I can use this to my advantage. The losers are rotten eggs! Give it to him! We want blood! The losers are rotten eggs! I love watching blood! Come on! I want to see some blood! I've got a lot of money to bet on this! <laughs> That's the best you can do! Knock you unconscious! Hopkins, you're a lot of money to bet on this! Hopkins is surprisingly tough! I've got a lot of money to bet on this! Be glad I don't enter the fray! There's another round after this? Be glad I don't enter the fray! Knock him unconscious! Knock him unconscious! Better, you know. Show some spirit, man. I've got a lot of money to bet on this. Oh, don't worry. Jimmy's tough. Show some spirit, man. Knock him unconscious. I've it's got a wonder how to bet on still this. standing. Show some spirit, man. Fifty dollars says that Hopkins is going to buy it. Knock him unconscious. Show some spirit, man. His left eye looks swollen. Like my shoes, they're genuine puffy left. I still think Hopkins will lose. His left eye looks swollen. Oh, don't worry. Jimmy's tough. It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing. Hopkins, you're such a whip! Fifty dollars says that Hopkins is going to bite it! We want blood! That's the best you can do! That looks like it hurt! I want you so much better, you know! I love watching a good match! Couldn't you just be friends? Like my shoes? They're genuine puppy leather. 
there's another round after this? Hopkins, surprisingly tough. Hopkins, you're pathetic. His left eye looks swollen. Show some spirit, man. Hopkins, we won. Surprisingly tough. prize hmm there's a little problem your parents have to be members of the board for you to be eligible tell you what old chap we'll give you that old abandoned beach house should be nice once you clean it up All right. I'm a fighting Bobby machine. might not be so happy. Give him now. Please dress appropriately. Float like a butterfly, sting like a My I see greasers every why don't you guys break it off? Would you please dress appropriately? You know we can't associate with you until you wear some proper clothes, huh?
Hey, Jimmy Hopkins. Do I know you? No, I'm Pinky, but I know all about you. Everybody's talking about you. Everybody says that you're mean and angry and you like fighting. Huh. Gary said you're so mad because you're sexually confused. Yeah, well, Gary talks a lot of crap. Oh, I know. I don't like him. He likes to torture people. So what? He's not going to torture me. Well, I'm glad you're not sexually confused. Really? Yeah. I like you, Jimmy Hopkins. Oh, yeah? But I need you to do something for me. What a surprise. I'm last in line, and this movie means everything to me. I'm going to get terrible seats. Can you please get rid of all these people for me? Please, Jimmy. What's in it for me? I'm a princess. Oh. And I need people to do things for me. So hurry up, because I want to be first. Oh, man. All right. Get it? You're too smart for school, right? Maybe I should join a sports team. I don't see why. My daddy's gonna. It's just not fair. I don't see why something like this should happen. Oh, you could have killed me with that thing. Like, I want a stinking friendship bracelet. He's Jeez. so dreamy! Last time I drink cough syrup. Maybe I can Ugh. make Daddy divorce her when she gets older. Poor people just seem Why so aren't you authentic and real. I smell free food. I swear she's trying I to look just if like I can... me. I hope you like this. Thanks a bunch, Jimmy! The good thing is, that I know I'm interesting. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. I mean it. social circle. Well, I do have a few uses, you know. Oh, really? Well, you know, nice girls like nice flowers. Anyway, here's some money. It's the least I could do. And it's daddy's anyways. The show's about to start, but come see me sometime. We can work through these class issues we have. Oh, I'll work through your class issues all right, sweetie. Desperate fella out. This place is for ignorant people with no hope or. Nice slam. Hello. You know you should try the new Aquaberry vest. Very popular with the better class of students. I hope you enjoy your purchases.
Look, there he is. I was wondering if you'd show up, Hopkins. Nice Aquaberry sweater. Trey Sheik. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You look a bit like my gardener at home. Yeah, so what? Yes, well, enough ah, about yeah, gardeners yeah. or any domestic help. Listen, me and the champs were planning a little revenge hit on old Hat Trick. We don't like what he did to that old Soak Galloway. A chap could have a drink if he bloody hell wants to. So? <laughs> so, my friend, are you, as they say, in? Sure. Are you English? Well, no, I just speak this way because I'm very insecure. You see, my father is a self-made man, so I pretend to be old money, but in fact, I'm really nouveau riche. But less about me, dear boy. Listen, we're going to egg that old codger's house. Cool. Smashing! You go get some eggs and meet me and the chaps back at my house. Hello? Thank you! Look at that! Apply to the Golden Yacht Club. Got the eggs, Hopkins? You bet. Then give them to me. Take them. Smashing. Now tell me, Hopkins, is it true you said I was inbred? No, because first cousins is legal, my friend. Legal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and just because my elder brother doesn't have a chin and ended up in a lunatic asylum, it doesn't mean anything. Whatever, Tad. Your family is your business. Don't lie, Jimmy. You said Tad was probably a hermaphrodite with that much inbreeding. A hermaphro what? Don't act dumb. You said his mom was also legally his aunt and that he probably had webbed toes. I don't. Well, just only on one foot. Tad, you're not going to take that kind of crap from this scumbag, are you? You've... you You've been rude about mommy! Let's get this, Papa! Inbred, am I? Oh, I guess I must be... I learned this move from my dad! Come to Papa! Okay, you better not damage my clothes! I bet you like a key, huh? Oh. 
flying too fast for you, Hopkins. You are so gonna get killed. I'll knock you down a peg. You want burial or cremation? You won't catch me, Hopkins. You are messing with the wrong. I have hey, a key and this you don't. Man to man. I'm an excellent boxer, you know. That's for me. I learned this move from my dad. Keep running, it won't help. That first they want to help a This is how you treat a girl? Well, not me. What are you talking about? We had a date, and you are three minutes late. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we really didn't. But look, I remembered how much you liked flowers. Oh, damn. That wasn't you. That was Darby. Well, he's late. I cannot believe he's done this to me. Oh, and those are so beautiful. Three minutes. What does he think I am? A tramp? Ugh. I hope something important happened, like he's dead, because otherwise there's no excuse. Did you say you're waiting for Darby? Yes. I don't really like him, but he's my cousin and our family wants us to get married. You know, keep up the tradition. Wait, marry your cousin? You know, it used to be brother and sister until it was made illegal. My aunt has four thumbs. Really? Yeah, well, I'm not marrying him now. He's humiliated me. So, uh, what do you say you and I go out and leave Darby to another cousin? Great! You know, I'll meet you at the carnival tonight. Jimmy, I'm really starting to like you. The kids in this town are out of control. He told me he'd tell his wife once they're in this. Where is that crazy chick? Hey, Jimmy! Glad to see you're on time, unlike some of my other dates. What are we waiting for? Let's go have some fun. Hey, wait up! You'll win me a teddy bear, won't you, Jimmy? I'm easily swayed by presents, you know. Let's play this game. I'll watch. Welcome, welcome! So anyway, Daddy said that Go we right ahead! On, Show us don't. that you are no wuss! Foul! Yeah, boy! You ran out of balls! Welcome, welcome! Now, good luck! You're gonna need it! Steer! Foul! He hit the super special secret target! Yeah, boy! You ran out of balls! You can do it, Jimmy! I know you can! Strangely attracted to the socially disadvantaged, Jimmy. You people, you're just so, so real. Don't mind me. Life's been hard. 
I think the next game is gonna be your game for sure. Um, bad luck. Feeling really lucky, huh? So close. So close. Try again, and this time, don't fail, okay? Jimmy, I know you You must have had a good horoscope today. Oh no. How'd that happen? Uh bad luck, Jimmy. Try again. Like you throw like a girl. Come on, kid, bring it. It's a simple game, though you're probably too stupid to win. You're supposed to hit the target with the balls, Bob. Is that too tricky for you? You look like you throw like a girl. You can do it, Jimmy. I know you can. I'm getting bored here. You couldn't hit a house with a pickup truck. Eee! At least I'm cleaner than you. Something there we about go. this game Done. reminds me of Bulwark. Yeah? You might need to win. My mom says I'm really special. Ooh. Leave me alone, creep.
all freaks Bring around the You That's suck! Skill, you right suck here. and he suck! Don't mind me. Life's been hard. <laughs> Dang, son. Even I'm embarrassed by that one. One more time, Jimmy. I know you can do it. Wow! You really bought a ticket. <laughs> Try again, kid. You can do it, Jimmy! I know you can! a good horoscope today. So close. So close. Try again, and this time, don't fail. You don't throw like a girl, you throw like a baby! What's the matter? You can't do this? My work about here this is done. Game reminds me Come on, kid, bring it! You're supposed to hit the target with the balls, Bob. Is that too tricky for you? I bet not even your mama loves you! Ah! Something nice about work, this Jimmy. game reminds me of both. Probably too stupid to win. You got the ugliest. I bet not even your mama loves you. Come on, kid, bring it. It's a simple game, though you're probably too stupid to win. Try again, and this time. Come on. I'm getting bored here! Oh, look at the big boy! I'm so scared! Ah! Something about Simple. this game reminds me of Bulworth. Hi there. All I need is 50 more bucks. Keep dreaming, boy. You better go win yourself some more tickets. Here's your trash. <laughs> I mean, prize. Just goes to show you. Great date, Jimmy. This romance is so dangerous. All sorted. Kiss this!
We'll show you how gentlemen behave themselves. What's your team called? The Unvaluables? Jimmy comes through again. Listen, pal, help a Cutting glasses, huh? Out. Bet you think you're... Oh, oh no! no. Yeah, you want to get a C-785. Then dismantle it and recouple with a 767 in titanium. Very expensive, but it will make your machine fly. That's what the pros do. Really? I was gonna get the 976 because I thought it would make me look important amongst my peer group. A 976? What are you, a girl? Oh, here's the kid who won the race. Hey. You came for your trophy, huh? Yep. Here she is. Beautiful. Molded plastic, covered in aluminum wrap, with your name misspelled on it. Excellent. Great. Look at this. A bunch of guys whose career aspirations are to work in stores. Fabulous. I love it when people know their place in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, your place in life is in my toilet, you trust fund turd. Do you even have flushing toilets in your trailer? I couldn't imagine it. You guys are a bunch of scumbags, aren't you? What you got? Bring it, come on. Nice trophy. Hey, let me see. Come on, hey, <laughs> give me that back! Hey, Jimmy, you want some help handling those losers? I hope mi hermano is right about this place.
again, chaps. I really love our... You're gonna regret this. I'm gonna leave skin marks all over you. <laughs> Open and some nerve bra for playing seven minutes in heaven. I'll knock you down a bit. Just pain. run away! Looks like you're a little rusty. I'll fix that. I always knew I could do it. Maybe if I spent some time trying to fix the relationship instead of bikes, I could have kept her. Jimmy, I need you to do me a favor. All I need are my pinups. They won't have a Latina. That bike! Au revoir. Take good care of yourself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! You think I'm dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb, I'm dumb, real dumb. Hey, hey, kid, hey, kid, help me out, please! Easy, Russell. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb? Hey, be good. No. Be good. Not you, Einstein. Not you. So, how did everything work out with those eggs? Not like I was hoping. Never trust a rich kid. Too bad. Too bad. Was it that jerk, Tad? You know, his parents are at a party at my boss's house right now. If you wanted a revenge thing, now would be a good time. I guess I'll need some more eggs then. Ah, yes. You got it. Thanks. Come on, Russell. We've got a house call to make. Get the books, kid. What could possibly be more fun to learn? Shouldn't you be somewhere right now? No care package from mother. Now, Russell, man! Who 
through that egg, we'll find you yet. You, get out there and find him. Oh, yuck, it's, it's all over the couch. I see him. <laughs> What girl love Russell? I know you're out there! I made him eat his chemistry project! Inside Russell's thick skin, beat heart of warrior poet. You're not going to get away with this. You like to eat fish? Russell would be barbarian king thousand years ago. I know you're out there. That meatball hero, no match for my stomach. Oh no! Mother's favorite maple thought! We'll find you yet! God, it's all over the wall! You're not going to get away with this! I hit him so hard! Dear God, it's all over the wall! I know you're out there! I don't care, find him! Through that egg. Hey, guys. Oh. hey. Smash you! Smash, Smash you! My work here is done. How can I find more tasks? You and me, Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course. The best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. Dollars on the dumb look one. Kick him in the choke. I'm a spirit man.
Tarzan. Show some spirit. I, I love watching bit hurt break. people. Show I've got a lot spirit. of money to bet on this. Uh, I'm fine. Like be sting uh, like uh, a uh, uh, bee. Show some spirit, man. Be glad I don't enter the fray. I've Pound got a lot of money bath. to bet on this. Show him what we're all about! I love watching a good match! Hopkins, you're pathetic! It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing! His left eye looks swollen! <laughs> That's the best you can do! Hopkins is surprisingly tough! I could do so much. Who's the baddest? Me. Who's the toughest? Me. Who's the man? Me. Me, losers. Me. The champion number one. I killed the best. I will beat the rest. Yeah, what have we got wrong. here? That That's poor right. kid just beat yeah. up Biff. He's our new it. champion. Just... What? He is That's the right. new champion. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Woo! You disgust me. <sighs> it takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. You guys soften him up. I'll get a drink. I'm an excellent boxer, you know. have another party at Harrington House and invite the jocks. You pathetic wretch, hiding behind your friends. I'm leveraging the assets I have and you don't. Friends. Just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you, poor boy. Get that buffoon out of here. Get out of here. Who's 
Who's the boss now? I can't hear you, rich kids. Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Uh, Answer the question. You are... Louder! You are... Uh, That's right. Me. Now you girls, learn to play nice, you understand? Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson? They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. Tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. Kid, how do I look? Uh, great. <laughs> Who's the lucky guy? Dr. Watt! The chemistry teacher? Uh-huh. I don't know what it is about that guy, but every time I get a look at his bald head and manic eyes, I go all gooey inside. <laughs> okay, that's enough information. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Love is blind. I sure hope so. Hey, kid, I need you to do me a favor. Dr. Watts doesn't actually realize that we're going on a date yet. <laughs> but we are. <laughs> and I need to get ready. So, can you get me Ms. Phillips' perfume from the staff room? You know where that is, right? Oh, and I almost forgot. Some candy and some sedatives. And for the sedatives, don't buy them. Just look for them in the trash. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can do that. Good. <sighs> Got you. With the proper research, chemistry could solve the problem. I'm afraid that Everyone, my instruction your is mostly incomprehensible to the students. I miss the invigorating fumes from my lab. I should get back there. From this sun. Hey! Leave my stuff alone! I'll still be Why are you still flying around everywhere?
Hey, Edna, I got your stuff. Hey, Edna, you old bat, I got your stuff. Ha! Oh, whoa. How do I look? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> if I was 50 years older, I'd date you myself. Ah, thanks, kid. Ha! Where's the perfume? Right here. <clears throat> oh, thanks. I needed that. I get so nervous before a date. Yeah, well, good luck, Edna. Hey, kid, wait! I need you to do me a favor. Another one? Yeah! What's in it for me? Ha! I won't spit in your food. Will you spit in Mr. Hattricks if I say yes? <laughs> for you, kid, I'll do worse than spit. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? I want to go on a nice date with Dr. Watt. So go then. Have fun. Yeah. Well, you know what you kids are like. You see a beautiful couple out on a date, and you're bound to do anything to ruin it. You got a point. So listen, I need you to watch out for me and keep those disgusting kids away. Another You're good deed. So you came. Yep. I bet you think I'm funny, don't you? A laughing stock? Not really. I mean, you dress a little weird, but yeah. And everyone is laughing at me. All of you, at me! What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. Have you had her? Who are you talking about? I bet you have. Have you had what her? What are you doing? Who? Lola! That slut! That slut I love. No, man! She's cheating on me, man. I know she is. The little slut. It's killing me. Me, dying over abroad. Oh, man, I knew this was coming. What are you talking about? She's with that rich kid, Gord. I know she is. How do you know? Will you find out for me? I can't take the suspense. Look, meet me at the underpass near New Coventry tonight. We'll get evidence. Bring a camera, and then we'll settle this. Once and for all. by a rich boy? Bite me! Here are the pictures, Johnny. Lola's a bit of a slut, it I seems. I knew it! I just knew it! Go. Done. I'm hungry for some action. Rob the thrift shop again? Can you be more lame? What's this Gord kid got that I ain't got? Uh, nothing. You think it's funny, don't you? You think I'm a joke? 
Well, my little friend, I'm the king around here. Me! I know. You're the king. But my queen is a slut, and now everybody's laughing at me. Well, not anymore. I'm not laughing. Good. Good, kid. You and me, we're gonna teach young Gord to keep his dirty paws off my woman. My queen. Get him to the abandoned building in New Coventry behind Union Hall. I'll be waiting there to school that little weasel. I'll be there. Well, hello, Gord. Seems like you've been messing where you ought not. No, cousins are legal. Oh, you mean Lola? Yeah, my woman. Now you pay! Jimmy, you're a good kid, you know. Here's your money. See you around. Sure thing, Johnny. That's that nonsense dealt with. Amigo! I need your help! Amigo? Johnny and his goons were hassling me about algae. 
that guy's gone even crazier. He thinks Algy is trying to put the moves on his girl. Algy and Lola? I know. It's crazy. Everyone knows Algy likes blondes. Listen, find Algy and get him back here until Johnny comes to his senses. Where is he? I don't know. I know he was working on a math project for Hattrick with Cornelius. Maybe he knows where Algy is. Who? Cornelius. You know, the scrawny kid in the acting club. He did an amazing Juliet in the school play. I think he has a 4.0 grade point average. Like me. Want to hear something neat? Dr. Slaughter said that I'm on a different evolutionary path than normal boys. Leave me alone, you brutes! Come on! We know you know where he is! Mm, he's at the pizza parlor, okay? Please let me go now. I, I told, told you he knew where Algy was! Yes. Come on! Shut up, Gary! Than that. You guys get Algy and bring him to me at the clubhouse. You guys, take care of this pathetic excuse for a human being. I was hoping you'd say that. Help me! Please, anybody! Don't even think about touching the hair! Now I'm going to hit you really hard! Oh, one way ticket to help. Now you've made me mad! Oh, thanks so much, Jimmy! Hey, I was lying when I told Johnny that Algy is at the pizza parlor. You gotta go help him! Algy, you're in so much trouble with Johnny Vincent and his boys. So, Chad, honey, listen, it's just a hundred bucks. That's nothing to a man of your means. Oh, but Lola, I'd have to steal it off of my father. But Lola, I thought Will that me and you... up, Fetzel? Oh, big bones, not fat. I thought you liked me. <sighs> you said you did. I do. I, I really do. Some friend you turned out to be. You must think I'm really cheap. Just a cheap slut. Well, that's it! No, 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 but... Oh, 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 wait! wait. Ass. Ridiculous. Women. Oh, look at you both. You're pathetic. But, but I, I thought, thought she you liked, liked me. me. I don't believe this. You both better get over oh, it. No. Listen, we gotta get out of here before Johnny Vincent sees you hanging out with his girlfriend. Oh, Algie, you take the girl's bike. Chad, oh, you better pedal for both great. of us. I got a feeling I'm headed for a fight. Oh. But, uh, but, I was just helping Lola study, honestly! I'm so scared! What? Well, he's gotta be around here somewhere! Let's go find him! There they are! On those bikes! Is that Algy? On a girl's bike? Here they come! I'll hold them off! Just try not to crash into anything, Chad! One down! I'm gonna gear up the crank you want!
lost them. Good. I'm getting tired. Give me a minute to catch my breath. You! It's a trap! It's a trap! Chad, step on it! Oh, damn. Jimmy, just hold them off a little longer. You're going down, and I mean down. You can thank me for saving you later, but Why I seriously can't be seen if you lose it. You're worried about your reputation? Oh, wonderful! You found him! Good job, Jimmy. You do have your uses after all. Well, thanks for all the help, Jimmy. Perhaps you could come over to the observatory and play a game or two of Grottos and Gremlins with us sometime. Um, no. I should teach lessons or something. Hello? You boy, don't just stand there. Come and help. What do you want, sir? Why did you send for me? I sent for you? Oh, yes, I did. Look at that plant, boy. Magnificent, isn't it? A crapula maxima fortissima. A rare and precious Venus flytrap. Unfortunately, there is a boy at this school, Darby Harrington, who was given such a plant from his father. His father is not a nice man. Darby is not a nice boy. They keep that plant to belittle my collection. There are two sides to biology, boy. Life! And death. Do I make myself clear? Very clear, sir. You want me to kill Darby Harrington? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Not the boy, boy! The plant, boy! Kill the plant! Oh, right. You ever kissed a girl? Just once. <laughs> you. Who cares if I can't get? <laughs> Why'd she leave me? Why?
Welcome to the cornerstone of the neighborhood. Your friends who the best dudes. Well, if it isn't the number one contender, looking sharp, nice shirt. If you were dumb enough to fight the Bullworth boxing champ, come on! You're crap! I'm going to work at my father's firm this summer. He's making you work? What a bastard. I have to go. See ya. Later. Well, bye now. So I asked mother, why can't I access Give up now, my shirt is getting dirty. You ignorant pop or get over my here. Shaolin training. I'm unleashing the field of fake power train boxers. Tookers. Hit me hard, my daddy sues. My fighting expertise is lethal. Sure, Who's got a big bad jab? Back here, you blue are. collar coward. You don't belong in here. Get out. No reason to hit mom now.
I said I'd do it. Hey! Oh, <laughs> it's you. Is that any way to greet your new boss, Harrington? Well, is it? Hmm, uh, no. No what? No, sir. That's better. At ease, girls. Listen, <laughs> boss, those grease monkeys are making life very difficult for Gord. That's because Gord was showing one of their girlfriends a good time. Some leader you turned out to be. Father says leadership is about looking after those you lead. He taught me that right before he laid everyone off. So what do you want me to do? Send them a message all over their dirty little slum. Why should I? Because you're the boss. Exactly. I'm the boss and I'll go send the message. Hey, dude. Remember, always a good prize. class is paying off. I'm pretty good. knocked out. Who could ever call this art? No sweat. Evening, sir. Yo, boy! What do you think you're doing? Nothing. What about you? Well, I'm, uh, uh, I, I'm looking for naughty boys. I, I mean, I'm looking for naughty boys in the wrong parts of town. Uh, uh, what I mean, Hopkins, is that I'm glad to report that in that disgusting store, I did not find one naughty boy. Not one. Well, that's good, sir, because filth like that can really rot a young man's mind. Exactly! That's why I got this research! To check on the dangers. It's good to see a teacher so dedicated to his work, sir. Thank you! No problem. But I'll tell you, Hopkins, I'm quite worn out with all this work. I don't, uh, suppose you could do me a favor. What? Well, uh, how do I put 
like this. I'm in charge of the laundry this week, but I got so carried away with my research that I forgot to collect it all at the same time. <laughs> it would be embarrassing to ask for it now. Oh, uh, maybe you could help, but you'll uh, have to be discreet. Discretion is my middle name, sir. Great! So go and collect all the dirty laundry from the, uh, girls' dorm. Okay. And if you get caught, I know nothing about it. I won't say anything, sir. In fact, I'll make it clear that I never saw you coming out of an adult store clutching illicit magazines. Good boy! Now hurry up and bring them to me by the school gates, but... Shh! I'll see you soon, Jimmy. Pretend you don't know it's curfew. Get going. Find a use for that. Oh, your room is just crisp. You will tidy it up first thing tomorrow. Hey, Angie, check this out. What is it? Don't this stay up anymore. Is it okay with the bag? Why do you keep worrying about being a bad? Better collect that. These are worth all the trouble I just went through. Yes, thanks for this laundry. Here's some money for your troubles. Of course I love you, Johnny! No, you don't. 
Love is complicated. That didn't seem complicated between you and that Gordo kid. I'm gonna kill him. Johnny, please. We've been over that. He's sweet, but it was so innocent. Get off. Oh, I love it when you get angry, Johnny. I really do. You're so bestial. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, what are you doing here? Looking for you, Johnny. At Lola's house? Yeah. Be nice to each other. You know what I like about you two? You're both so straightforward, so quick to judge, so fast. Ain't no one fast like me. Really? So you could beat Jimmy in a race? Definitely. I heard he was pretty fast. This little twerp? Give me a break. Oh, I think we've got a little challenge. I just love challenges. They make me so excited. Look at these suckers! We're they gonna grind you down! Let's do it! We're gonna break you! Jimmy, you won. Well, of course my bike wasn't tuned right. I'm gonna head to the shop and do some work on it. More bike talk? I'll meet you guys later. You're amazing, you know that? You smeared my lipstick, you beast! <laughs> that was easy. 
Hey, good looking. What's up? Oh, you're so angry. But I think you've got a softer side. Haven't you caused enough trouble? That's not fair. I'm a nice girl. I'm nice to everyone. Now, everyone hates me. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Well, okay. But now Johnny and his boys won't even speak to me. Boys can get really jealous when they find out you've been kissing another boy. It wasn't like that. I'm not like that. Okay. But I left all my things in the abandoned tenements where they hang out. My address book, my keys, my perfume, my lipstick, even my laundry. Everything. Now I've got nothing. I don't have much money. That's too bad. Maybe you could get them back for me? You want me to steal your stuff back from a bloodthirsty mob of angry greaseballs? I'd be very grateful, Jimmy. <laughs> very grateful. This might be useful. Okay, buddy, you asked for it. Sorry, I left my handkerchief at home. You're gonna Another get free. Get scared, pinhead. Don't die. Let me get a close look at that. It. Let me You're clean that spot on your face. I'll take that.
Hey, if there's tracks nearby, you're... I can't around! <laughs> What are you doing here? Um, uh, taking out the trash. Looks like that's what I have to do. I just love wrecking things with my hammer. Under this. All right, I'm open for business.
people have stuff lying around everywhere. Thanks, honey. You're great. You got something on your lips. Wow, Jimmy. You're so manly. Don? There he is, my hero. What's your problem now? If you really cared about me, you'd fight for me. First of all, I'm not sure I really care about oh. you. And second, what do you think I've been doing? Tad fights for me, Gord fights for me, Johnny... Well, he certainly fights for me. In fact, they're all about to fight for me. Right now. Everyone apart from you. Who's fighting? Tad and all the rich kids are coming here to fight Johnny and his boys. All because of me. I'm like Helen of Troy. So there's going to be a big fight? A winner-take-all sort of thing? Yes. Everyone's involved apart from you. I'm Helen of Troy, and you're more interested in boys called Troy. Whatever. See you later. so I can finish him off. I know where he is, but I ain't telling you nothing. Hey, come close. Come on, hero. More call, don't you? Get clean. Ladies, me. I'm the daddy now. You treacherous little snake. You think you're tough, huh? You don't need any more of this, Johnny. You laugh at me. You turn on me. You get it on with that harlot who I, I love. Oh, I'm gonna destroy you. All right, calm down, man. It's cool. You lost. No big deal. We can all be friends. You're done, kid. Finished. You'll learn to keep your hands off my girl! 
Get out of here! The cops! You're lucky, Jimmy. I'll kick your ass later. Get back here! Stop! I'm an officer of the law! Charge, you do what I said. All right, I give up. You can have her. Who? What are you talking about, Johnny? Lola, you win. She's yours. This has nothing to do with her, man. I don't care. You can keep that slut for yourself. What? You don't want her? Then why did you do this? Why'd you fight? Just to prove you're tougher than me? That's right. And don't you or your boys forget it. I'm tougher than you. So maybe now you'll stop bullying everyone. You work for me now. Oh, man. I'm starting to feel pretty good about myself. I've just taken control of two of the school's worst cliques, but I know there are bigger problems just around the corner. Problems with overdeveloped pituitary glands and brains the size of peas. The thing is, Pete, now that I'm cool, I'm not sure we can be friends anymore. What? I'm messing with you. Real funny, Jimmy. Well, when you're done with this place, a career on the stage awaits. Maybe, maybe like a male stripper or something, huh? What? Uh, <clears throat> so, um, what about Gary? I haven't seen him, but whenever I hear somebody say I used to be a girl and had a sex change, or that my mother slept with Crabble Snitch to get me in here, I think to myself, Gary. Gary, what a jerk. You don't even call me a dork. Well, I guess he's not always wrong. Is that what you really think? Whatever, Jimmy. You know, I stand up for you, and you still think I'm a dork. 
You're a jerk. And you're a dork, so we're equal. Whatever. I'm leaving. Ow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now maybe oh. next time you'll watch where you're going. What'd you do that for? Oh, I'm sorry, Psycho. Did oh. I hit your boyfriend? Yes, yeah, Psycho. You gonna try to kick our asses now? No, I think I'll do that more publicly. Ooh, I'm really scared right now. Really Ooh. scared. I take down oh. linebackers every day, oh. pal. Whatever, pretty boy. You'll get yours. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Ouch. Go have some fun in the communal showers. Ooh, I just dropped my soap. Please pick it up for me. Losers. Petey, get up. I, mean, you I think we found some new people to have some fun with. I may be a loser, but at least I've got loser friends to hang out with. Whatever. We wouldn't let you into our gang, Pete, because you're weird. Weird? Look at you. You've got a weak bladder. Hey, Algy, I need some help. I've got a plan to take over those jock scum. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, so what do you say, Algy? Us help you? Yeah, think of everything I've done for you since I got here. You? You're like a bouncer. We're a bit above helping people like you. I mean, get real, duh. Pee stain. Now you need my help. Forget it. Damn. Well, you know what you gotta do now, don't you? What, beg? No, get to Ernest. He runs that click with a rod of iron. You get him on your side, and you got the rest of the meeting out of the palm of your hand. How? By joining the trigonometry club? No, that would never work. You gotta show him who's boss. You might be on to something. See you later. Hey, wait, Jimmy. Can I come for once? Remember to See you around! Show. I'm sure they're not really professionally I wish I could go to school seven days Why a is week. my underwear? Get out of here, Jimmy! I know I'm forgetting to do something today. You've unleashed my barbarian rage! It's because I... He's at the observatory, but don't tell him I told you! Forget it, Hopkins. You're not getting in without the key code. Okay, okay, it's 1138.
Mist, what are you doing? Give it up, dork. You work for me now. You're pathetic. You've defeated my weakest compadres. You've just met your match. I want us to be friends. I need your help. I've had friends like you. The kind who treat you like dog muck on their shoes. No thanks, bud. Come on. It's my brains against your brawn. Welcome to hell, Jimmy Hopkins. No one appreciates an intelligent personality around here. No one. It isn't fair. Now you listen to me. Here, here, just take it. You're just like everyone else, picking on the little man. I'm not like everyone else, <sighs> honestly. Now listen, we both want the same thing, to teach those jocks a lesson. From now on, we're buddies. You have a funny way of showing friendship. We're friends, we work together. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Hey, Pete. Yo, Jimmy! I'm over here! Give me five, dude! Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, cat. Looks like your homies took care of some lames for us. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't get fresh with your homies. <laughs> Can you please talk normally? This is my normal style of rapping, bro. <laughs> All right, enough. What's my quest? Ah, right. Salutation, Sir James. It seems my clever brethren have taken control of the funhouse at the carnival. Well done. All that education and now you run a funhouse? Genius. You simple-minded noble foot soldier. <laughs> the football team is going to be there this afternoon. You could really cause them some problems. Okay. Explain it to me on our way over. There's not much to explain. Just access the control rooms through the maintenance doors. Then do your thing. Cool. Moonwalk. Oh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh. It has felt like an age of freedom. Did you hear the city? That poor bastard's lost.
Please, I don't want trouble. Pardon me.
all right, bucko? You couldn't have known those were dentures. Pardon me. Your task is complete, brave knight. You can count on Jimmy. How's it going? Hey, did you ever... Oh, Hopkins, good to see you. Make it quick, Ernest. Now, as our new leader, I have something I need you to do for me. What? I mean, look, do you want to take down the jocks or what? Of course I do. Yes, well, I have a plan. Okay, what is it? Well, what I need are some inappropriate pictures of someone they care about. You want pictures? Yes, it's a complicated plan, all right. I need some naughty pictures of that Mandy girl. I'm sure you do, but what has that got to do with this? Oh, oh, this? This is purely for the purposes of this plan. I'm not like that at all. You want me to get incriminating pictures of the head cheerleader just for your plan? The kind of pictures that could land me in jail or worse? It's not easy being the boss. <laughs> Man, this better be good. Maybe one day you'll get it. Oh my god, this is disgusting. I'll have to go change. Oh my god. Can't wait to get out of these clothes. Mr. Burton says I'm pretty good for a girl, so I think I have a good chance to get on the team. I guess. Oh, and another thing. Did you work out? Like, a lot? If I'll ever hit someone so hard the hair will come off.
time. Fear not, my friend, for the cavalry. Stealth Ninja. my charisma and popularity again. better than last. some nice pictures for oh, you. Oh, I can't wait to see them. I'm an avid student of anatomy, you know. There 
there was never any doubt. Oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Oh, can't you just get lost? Or help, we're trying to get out of here. Come on, Muscles. We've not got long. What are you talking about? The jocks are coming to kill us. Oh, thanks to you and your sordid little pictures. You wanted them. You're the sicko. Oh, a healthy interest in sexual matters is natural during puberty, bud. That's why I was having those dreams. Anyway, this is not important right now. I am about to die! We all are! When are they coming? What about your famous defense system? Oh, it's broken, okay? Can't you fix it? I need a bit of time. But we have no time. We're dead! Dead! I love you, my friends! Look, you fix it, I'll hold up the jocks. Now, where's that gun thing? Get out of here, you We're sickos! We're coming in, you We're coming get ready you. for you, nerds! Doomed! These feelings are natural, and I'm about to die for them! Just go fix the defense system, and I'll take care of the goons. Come on, you wimps! We're coming to get, get you! Get out of here, sickos! We can call that a wrap.
Hey, Jimmy. I've had a brilliant idea. Another one. Many are called, but few are chosen. Luckily for you, I've chosen you to help me carry out this little masterpiece. My finest work! What are you talking about, you lunatic? I'm talking about what we're always talking about, amigo. About bullying the bullies. About my favorite dish. Revenge! Revenge? Against who? Who do you think? The football team. Those overdeveloped, underbrained lords of our little manor. Reduced to a bunch of sniveling wretches. Bowing down to my... You mean our? I meant our. Superiority. <laughs> Us. Ruling. Like gentlemen. Over the peasants. Us. Us. Yes. You ruling, of course. Me offering some sage advice. Doing all the thinking. That sort of thing. Merlin to your King Arthur. Whatever. What's the plan? Well, first, we need you to get the school mascot costume. And how do you suggest I do that? Well, go follow them. Wait for us to distract the gorillas. Go! While we still have hope! Another snot-nosed perp. Welcome to photography class. I'm Miss Phillips. I'll be handing out your cameras and first assignment in a moment. What do you say, friend? <laughs> I searched that kid's room and didn't find one porno. Just 
I don't understand. With your progress, Jimmy, you show real promise. That's how it's done. I'm good. Very well, young squire. Huh? How are you, young man? Can I offer you a highball? Yeah, sure. Actually, maybe you're a little young. Better keep this out of harm's way. <sighs> are you gonna be all right, sir? Uh, it's that pompous ass hat trick. He's bad-mouthing me all around the staff room. Why? He keeps calling me a drunk. Says that I am irresponsible. He's trying to get me fired. He's trying to turn Miss Phillips against me. Well, sir, when people say bad things about what I do, I like to prove them wrong. Really? How? By showing a nobler side of yourself? Rising above it? No, not exactly. I like to show that they massively underestimated the force that they were dealing with and then really give them something to complain about. Ah, oh, the treacherous Machiavelli, I love it! Good, me too.
Jimmy Hopkins delivers.
Jimmy, you've interrupted me. Oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Can I see? Sure, take a look. I think I have finally caught the essence of what it means to be a banana. I really feel my work is moving forward. Uh, here's the thing. Art is lost on me. I've always been more into music. You know, having thoughts for another really makes your work glow. Uh, how do you mean? When people do things, incredible things, when people blossom and grow, that really moves me. You know what I mean? Not really. <laughs> I am in love, Jimmy. And I want to make tonight very special. Would you mind going to collect a few things while I work my muse out? A dress, some perfume, my pearl necklace from the jewelers, not too much. I must look my best tonight. Tonight? Wow, of course. Is this legal? Of course it's legal. Whatever can you mean? Now go on, my dear. Hurry! To look like Russell. This is love, action, drama, oh. everything. Don't be shy. Get on in Not here. Not bad. Hello. Are you looking for anything in particular? Wonder why no one picked this up. I'm gonna rent your head clean! Now I gotta work. Mine. Here you go. Oh, Jimmy, what took you so long? Thanks. No problem. Oh, man, I can't believe this. My first time with a teacher. Oh, man, this is gonna be great. Hey, Jimmy, what are you doing here? Nothing. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, well, it's a little awkward, but since you've been such a good friend to me, Ms. Phillips, she's asked me, me, of all people, she, can you believe? She's asked me on a date. Wait. She asked you? I think you're mistaken. Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, I think there's been some sort of mistake. You sure you haven't been hitting the bottle again? No. I mean, yes, I am sure. Well, okay then. Hitting the bottle. <sighs> Lionel, you came. You look great. So do you, Deirdre. Thank you. Wait, what? Jimmy, what are you still doing here? Uh, what do you mean? 
This boy is an angel. He's been magnificent. Uh -huh. And he is so cute. Cute. <laughs> nice. Come on, Lionel. Let's go. Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy, you should get back to school. Wait, Miss Phillips. Ah, oh, man. Hey, Jimmy. I've had a brilliant idea. Another one. Many are called, but few are chosen. Luckily for you, I've chosen you to help me carry out this little masterpiece. My finest work! What are you talking about, you lunatic? I'm talking about what we're always talking about, amigo. About bullying the bullies. About my favorite dish. Revenge! Revenge? Against who? Who do you think? The football team! Those overdeveloped, underbrained lords of our little manor. Reduced to a bunch of sniveling wretches. Bowing down to my... You mean our? I meant our. Superiority. <laughs> Us ruling like gentlemen over the peasants. Us? Us, yes. You ruling, of course. Me offering some sage advice. Doing all the thinking, that sort of thing. Merlin to your King Arthur. Whatever. What's the plan? Well, first, we need you to get the school mascot costume. And how do you suggest I do that? Well, go follow them. Wait for us to distract the gorillas. Go! While we still have hope! You! 
Leave the fool alone! I'm gonna pummel you! Up here, suckers! Nerds. You gotta be oh, kidding what's me! All this? Nerds? You just gotta take the bull by the horns. As usual, the world takes an enormous crap on my head. Come on, turn it up a bit. Glad that's done. I will Hey. I know, it's funny. I'm the girl in the dirty pictures, ha ha. What are you talking about? Ugh, don't pretend you don't know. Everybody knows. Knows what? There's posters of me all over town. Oh, those. Now everyone thinks I'm a slut. Great, my parents will be so proud. I'll probably get expelled. Look, it could be worse. How? How exactly could it be worse? I mean, sure, I've been a bitch at times, been nasty. But I don't deserve this. My life is over. I mean, I've always wanted to be a model, but not like this. Everybody's laughing at me. I can't bear it. Everybody's always laughing at me. Well, maybe you're not as insecure as I am, okay? I just wanted to be popular. Now everybody hates me. Well, I guess I deserve it. I'll tell you what. You wait here. I'll get rid of those posters for you, or at least cover them up. Would you... I'd do it myself, but I can't deal with it. I'm really losing it here. Just hang in there. I wanna bust your gun up and watch you bleed. Can I get? 
shit in her pants! Cologne. Dad always wears cologne. I'll ask her out one day. We'll wind up married, then divorced. Did you not see me watching that? I think I've got some mayonnaise on my pants. You vandal! Stop it! Seems like there's just no shame left these days. Someone covered you up, Mandy? <laughs> Don't worry, I have a fresh poster. I lock my car. Don't remember locking it. Ooh, where's that smirk now? I hate it when I do this. Rome wasn't built in a day, but I packed my resume every day for good thing my wife didn't see. You want some more punk? Here comes your- I can go all day! Please turn the hot water on, coach! Oh, you are the sweetest boy ever! Look in my eyes for a sec. You know, Jimmy, I think I might like you. I'm good. That's all there is to it. Hey, Miss Phillips. Hey, Jimmy. So what really happened to Mr. Galloway? Where did he go? It's a sad story, but... Well, sometimes when grown-ups get upset, they respond in the wrong ways, and, well... Small problems get bigger, and that's really the thing about being an adult. Miss, I'm not five. My mom's been married five times, and I've been expelled from seven schools. <laughs> yeah. He's a drunk. Stupid man couldn't control himself. Damn him! I love him. But that wretched ogre hat trick guilt-tripped him into committing himself into the asylum to get dried out. If only someone could get in there and tell him to get out, I'll take care of him. Why don't you go? Because that loveless scumbag Hattrick told him not to let me in. Said I was a bad influence. Don't you worry, miss. I'll get him out. Okay. Meet me near the asylum tonight. I'll be there. And Jimmy? Yes, Miss Phillips? It's Ms. Not Miss. Oh. Right. Troublemakers will be found and punished. Oh,
Jimmy, I'm glad you made it. Please hurry and try to talk some sense into him. I'll be waiting for him at the asylum gates. Don't worry, miss. Thank you so much. some sort of watcher stampede again. I must be a better person. I must be a better person. I must be a better person. Oh, God! I am pathetic! Hey, Mr. Galloway. Go away! I don't want to have another group therapy session with those people. If I have to pretend to be someone's mother one more time, I'll... Oh. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, what on earth are you doing here? Ms. Phillips sent me. She's really worried about you. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, uh, what? <laughs> I can't right now, Jimmy. I'm late for my regression therapy as it is. It's fantastic. I've discovered I really do hate myself. Patrick was right. I am a loser. No, you're not. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, we can't let bullies like Mr. Hattrick win. Okay, Jimmy. Jimmy, I really appreciate this. Thank you. Me too. I am so happy to have my galley bear back. Galley bear?
Yes, Candy from Ohio. You would be a fair queen for me. In that little thong, and with those massive piles of silicone. Initially, you'd think, who's that handsome stranger? Then I'd walk into the bar, impress you with my suavity. Um, my suavability? Uh, how suave I was! I'd look up and say, what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? And you'd say, take me to the hay bar. Hey, Ernest. Ah! What's that oh, you're reading? Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. Just some, some history homework. <laughs> cool. Can I see? It's personal. <laughs> personal history. Sounds interesting. Yes. Well, um, you wouldn't understand. Anyway, listen. The big game is today. Operation Trojan Cow is ready to proceed. Operation Trojan Cow. It's my master plan. My spies have already been gathering the information that will bring about the downfall of the jocks at this school. So I guess I'll be needing this. Does this work? Yes. Rendezvous with my agents in the field. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Do they think I'm just all talk, do they? General Custer made a tragic mistake. What would you call a yard thick in the metric system? A sticky situation on the team benches. Get it? <laughs> sticky situation. Yeah, I got it. Come on, dance! I will make you hurt all over, maggot. I will break you. I'm gonna make you hurt. <laughs> you suck. I'm gonna kick your ass! I'm gonna make you hurt! You're but not for long! Come on, do you? The football game will be good, but not as good as wrestling match. <laughs> <laughs> Funny! <laughs> Joke! What did you do to our real mascot? Jimmy! Careful! Patrols are everywhere. We are in grave danger at this very moment. You're in grave danger of a knuckle sandwich if you don't get on with it. That's what. Here's a ball we've rigged. Get to the shed by the field and swap it for the real game ball. Damn! 
dance for me, boy. Is it quit messing around before I lose my patience and hurt you? <laughs> no, but it'll do. Okay, here's the deal. The jocks keep their game sports drink in a cooler. Go urinate in it. Enhance it, if you will. There's a rumor that someone is going to screw up the game. This is too much for me. Yuck! Like, thicky, <laughs> yuck! <laughs> Young Jimmy is perilous, but the rewards are glorious. Cut the crap, Melvin. It was sort of funny the first 20 times, but it's getting old now. Scatter them over the football field. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right.
Jimmy? Nice outfit. Yeah, I know. Shows off my figure, doesn't it? But enough about me. How do I mess up those jocks? Straight to business, eh? Okay. There's a switch box on the scoreboard on the field. Get to it and switch it. Sounds easy. What will it do? It'll change the text of the scoreboard. I reprogrammed it. You'll like it. The jocks won't. Yeah, who is that, Kim? Oh, it's that little Squirt Hopkins. Yeah, that Squirt Hopkins. You're dead, Hopkins. Yeah, dead, Hopkins. Why don't you stop repeating everything he says and get on with it? I'm gonna bust your gut up Time and watch you bleed. Now. Grass 38 sweet! Oh, ha, you got grass in your teeth Shit. again? Uh, I got your back, bro, Seth. Me and you. 32 let's counter go. Come on, man. Come on. This is the end for Bam. you. Right the numbers. <laughs> Having difficulty standing up, Jimmy Boy? 94 hot fly, trip! I'm gonna break your shut up You lying down again, Jimmy? Down! 34 power! No! Having a hard time, Wimp? Recognize it! Sweet black candy, you don't want any of this! Come on, turn it up! Damon, true! You like that, eh? Jimmy, you ain't nothing! I'm gonna break your face! You're messing with the best, Jimmy! Time to back off your trash! I'm penetrating! You lying down again, Jimmy? Incoming, Captain! Incoming, Captain! Having a hard time, Whip! No! Ha 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 You'll never get by me. Quick, replace him! One, two, screen left! Go, go, go! Your go. Head when I catch you! Not in four, hot fly! How do I get freak? How about this one? I'm gonna put your feet in the back of your head when I catch hey. you! Crash 38, sweet! I'm gonna put your face in the back of your head when I catch you! 32, counter trap! How'd you like this, freak? How about this one? Having difficulty standing up, Jimmy boy? See Crash 38, sweet! Call that! A little blood never hurt anyone. Think I'm tough? Time's even tough! Two. One, two, screen left! Go, go, go! 34 power, no! You know you deserve it! 32, counter trap! 
keep running and I'll keep getting more hits! Incoming, Captain! Damn it, he's been trained! Panties are up for grabs. You lying down again, Jimmy? Jimmy? Take out the captain to take out the oh, you're team. Tight <laughs> Dude, stop roping the passer. That's right, losers. Yeah! Oh, Jimmy, you did it! You did it! I'm king of the school! Oh, you beat them all in front of everybody! Thanks for your help, Petey. Oh, this is gonna be great. So here I am, suddenly the king of the school. I never meant for things to turn out this way. I just wanted to control a couple of psycho kids and be left alone. But now I guess I'm certainly going to live the good life. Hey, Darby! Hey, Johnny. Hi, Yo, Jimmy. what's up, brother? Hey, Jack. So I'm like, yo, it's Jimmy! <laughs> oh, funny, oh, funny, man. Yo, you're man, so what's funny, going on? Jimmy? Oh, hey, girl, you're looking great. Ooh. Great. Thank you for that shit, <laughs> Wow, hey, oh, Jimmy! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, boys, that's all I got to say. Later. So Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy. See you later. I love that guy. Bye, Come on, guys. Let's roll. Pete! Hey, Jimmy, what's going on? Everything. I did it, man. I took over this dump. These morons are my morons That's now. great. Just don't turn into a jerk. How could I? I? Hey, baby. How you doing? What you doing later? Just remember, Jimmy, not everybody likes you. Correct. They love me. Well, what about Gary? Gary? Forget about that twerp. Dude, it's me now. I run this place and you're my friend, so please try to be cool. Oh, man, you're bringing me down. Come on, let's go milk this thing for all it's worth. We might even find you a girl. That is funny, Jimmy. No, it's not. Jimmy, it's really funny. Chill out, man. Jimmy, I need to talk to you about something. Not now, Pete. I'm basking in adulation. I mean, running the school fairly. Dude, so fairly. No, Jimmy, please. Pete, enough. Yeah, shut up, Pete. The hey, court must know their king. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Jimmy? Forget the school. The whole town should know about you. You're like... The mayor. You should leave your mark on City Hall. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Take a dump on the doorstep. <laughs> no, you homunculus. Not a dump. It's something much more elegant. Paint a warning. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll show everyone who's boss. That's right, Jimmy. All right, you girls wait here. This is going to be something they'll never forget. Wait, Jimmy, don't forget about Gary. Wait, wait for me.
the line before 1978 anyway. I did it! That's great. Listen, we've got a problem. I'm the king, Petey, the king! Whatever, you're a king with a load of problems. I've only been gone a couple hours. What could have happened? All kinds of things. You remember that promise you made about restoring law and order and improving the school? Let's just say it ain't exactly coming true. Well, if anyone wants a fight, I'm right here. I think Gary must be behind it, but trust me, everyone wants a fight. Listen, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Oh, man. What? No, it isn't. What are you guys talking about? Uh, the uh, library uh, is full uh, of rats! Uh, and I got my pre-pre-pre-med test next week, amigo! <sighs> You're such a lame old! Uh, Some king you turned out to be! Oh, how I long for the old days! Sure, we were laughed at and mercilessly bullied by everyone, but at least you could study without fear of rodents coming near us! Oh, 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 get off! Oh, did you piss yourself again, Algie? Ew. No, oh, I swear. Algie. I spilled soda on myself. Soda? Oh. Right. What a bunch of sissies. Well, I'm not afraid of a few rats. Jeez, pathetic. Thank you. 
I saw one nibbling on a book. crate to see if any of them are still lurking in there. These crates? Yes, those crates. The rats appeared once those books were delivered. Everything seems to be fine, miss. I think I got them all. Thank you, Jimmy. If you have any late fees, I think we can just forget about them. I did that a long time ago. I, I mean, thank you, miss. <laughs> That's how it's I done. Like a sweatshirt with librarian embroidered. I get on my Where's my underwear? Squishy. <laughs> You're about to get hit, jerkhead. I don't believe oh. this! Oh no! How did it happen? Hopkins, come here, boy! Hey, what's oh. up, Mr. Burton? What's up? Away. What's up? My gym oh. is up in flames! Look! Damn, how'd that happen? As if you don't know! You're a degenerate! The think I trusted you! It wasn't me! Yeah, I'm no saint, but I tried to bring order to the school to stop the bullying. Ha! <laughs> bullying? I don't care about bullying! In fact, I encourage bullying! That's right! Builds moral fiber! Makes. Men! Yeah! Cause you didn't make the team. You had to ruin it for everyone. Yeah, you bully! You're a pig! You ruined my life! What are you talking about? I never wanted to be on the team. You like to torment weak kids, and you've got the personality of a jock strap. Yeah, well, I called the police. You'll be killed for this, my boy! It wasn't me! You're done for, Hopkins! Help. What? Who was that? It's Yuri! Oh There's people trapped inside! Oh, I'm really scared! Money! Man, you guys are pathetic. I'll get him. Where's the fire extinguisher? By the stairs next to the locker room. But don't think I've forgiven you, Hopkins. Ow! I'm getting out of here! Ah! I'm stuck! Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh my god, Jimmy, please get them! Thanks, Jimmy! 
Hey, we're on the same. Do not hit me, or I will hit you back. Jimmy, the fire! Please get the fire! Oh, Jimmy, thank you. What happened, Mandy? I don't know, but I saw some weirdo downstairs. I'll check it out. You get out of here. Be careful, Jimmy. I'm done. Why am I always looking at the chair? <laughs> Mr. Galloway, should you really be doing that? Oh, Jimmy. No, I suppose not, but life is unfair. You promised Ms. Phillips. Oh, God. What kind of world do we live in where I get punished for a minor indiscretion and Hattrick gets away with taking bribes from his pupils? He does? Yes. He sells advanced copies of tests to the sons of his rich friends and nobody says a word. Wait, what rich friends? Well, Darby Harrington for one. I can't believe he's selling tests. What if I got evidence of him doing this? <laughs> then I'd never need to drink again. All right, let me see what I can do. Looking for something? All right, I'll pay. You drive a hard bargain. Hey, thanks a lot, big guy. Thanks for the cash, chaps. I don't care what they think of me. I'm a cool dude and a nice guy. I know I am. Hey, what's your tale, Nightingale? Such a loser with the you lady. The end of the lunch that he well, on. Uh, what it's the most beautiful thing about? I've ever seen. I gotta fix like eight bikes tonight. I can do it though. Sure hope he shows up. I need to get my grade up. Don't worry, he'll be here soon, I'm sure. Do you have my cash? Yeah. Do you have the tests? Thanks, buddy. See you 
at midterms. You know, he drinks on school grounds. Think of the children, Dr. Krabblesnitch. Drinking? I will terminate the employment contract of any staff member found corrupting children. Morality is the most important lesson we can teach the youth. Is that so? Then you might want to look at these. What's this? It's that fat, evil hypocrite selling test answers to rich kids. Fire them. What? You took pictures? And to think I trusted you, Hattrick? You're fired. But I... 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 Bye-bye, <sighs> fatty. And as for you, Galloway, there better not be anything to that drinking business. That's it? Can you help me, please? Just like for a second? Check this out. It's not my fault! Well, where'd he go then, you tramp? Who you calling a tramp? I loved Johnny. Not exclusively, I'll grant you, but I loved him. Now he's gone. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Johnny's disappeared, gone crazy, abducted by aliens. I bet it was you, Hopkins. Yeah. Since you turned up, everything's gone really weird. King of the school. Who's the daddy-o now, huh? My love has gone. Find him, King. Quit poking me. You're both acting crazy. Cut it out. Now tell me, where's Johnny? <sighs> I don't know. Nobody's seen him. He got a little brokenhearted after we split up, but it's not my fault. Someone said they saw a couple of asylum orderlies driving up to his house. But you know how people love to talk. Johnny wasn't crazy. Asylum orderlies? He was a real leader. Not like you, Jimmy. Look, I'll get your boy back, all right? See you later, freaks. Thank you. 
you want your break? If you don't Man, think you have this any is so cool. problems, you're most likely in denial. Forget me, kid. Hey, let's go out the back way. Get Follow me. Here, you little rat. Thanks for getting me out, Jimmy. How'd you get in there to begin with? Some of the local kids said they'd gotten together with Lola. I went a little crazy. I can believe that. Yeah, anyways, I gotta find Lola, see if it's true or not. See ya. All right, Johnny. Have fun. Hopkins comes through. I think you might be able to help me. What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, it looks like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Oh, come on. I don't want to fight you. My name's Jimmy. Zoe. I was at Bullworth once. I got kicked out. Why? Let's just say Mr. Burton is a dirty creep. Seriously? I would love to teach that guy a lesson. He bullies everyone. You know... He goes jogging every day and regularly uses the porta potties in the park. Yuck. Yeah. So if we could catch him in one on top of a hill, then Mr. Burton could have a really interesting time in it. Yeah, but they're all chained together. We'll need to get some bolt cutters. Go get some from the Spaz Industries building and meet me at the park. Make sure no one sees you. Look at this! Open your eyes! Did you get them? Yeah, I got them. Now what? Burton always goes to the can when he goes running. We've got to make sure he uses this one and send him on a trip. I'll take care of this. You make sure he doesn't use one of the other ones. This sounds like it's gonna be good. Field trip to the School of Life, huh? Sure you got no tasks to write, kid?
supposed to be in class now? is behind this somehow. Ah, much better. Shouldn't you be in class pretending to be Nice work, Jimmy. Jimmy, buddy, I need your help. Oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent with us. I tried that when Father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it. They've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. Yes. It's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us. Apart from them. Oh yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, la-dee-da. Now he tells us. You are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men. Let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on. Wait here. I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. Alright, Vance. Did you guys steal the Preppy's trophies? No way, man. After the townie's been saying all that stuff about Lola and made Johnny crazy, we don't care about those stuck-up jerks. The townies? Really? Yeah, and Johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore. But since you got him out, I'll let you walk away from this meeting. Well, since I already beat you, I guess I believe you.
there, you little sucker. Ow! Bit me. Ha ha ha! Better hope you don't get rabies. I can just imagine the look on their face when they get another crate of rats. <laughs> All the little nerds running around screaming like girls. for the party in the docks. <laughs> Rats in the library. Awesome. We gotta remember to put a few air holes in the crate. Man, I hope these little guys don't have fleas. I heard rats actually like to eat books. Man, wouldn't that be awesome? Hey, quit squirming. Man, I hope one of them bites the librarian. She's such a cow. Well, Popper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fund babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? Who <laughs> <laughs> trapped you, Hopkins? That crazy hobo? I really love Aquaberry. Maybe Daddy will find me stuck. Another job well done.
Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in the school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform or uh, attend classes. Be you are leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know! I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It was Gary. It must have been. I know! I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How was that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is towny kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. Hey, Russell! I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy.
They're locked! Ah! Oh, that's gotta hurt! <laughs> Boom! Uh-oh, this doesn't look so good! What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Smashing into our barricade like that? Completely out of control. Are you crazy? I've got to talk to that Edgar kid. I don't think he wants to talk to you. And you can't get in while the power is out anyways. Now you're Here goes power. the pain! go through the Red Star building. This gate is controlled by an electronic security system. Let's see what this does. Now that we have the power restored, we've got to get to the chem plant. And to do that, we've got to take on Omar. He's Edgar's...
all of them. Hang on, Jimmy. You'll see. Hey, uh. Hey, if you date me now, you'll be able to tell your friends well, what made it big. That's useless. around here. Oh, oh, you're all no. my friends! Never been knocked unconscious through a quad! Come on, enough with the look! Feet dropping in! Dodging in! Get away from me! You're like a go run out! Pain train making all locals.
save yourself! Run! You know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See ya. And done. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well... What about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. Where the hell is 
deserves that little runt. Thanks, Jimmy. Come on, we gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> all right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. Cool. Then it's a plan. Damn! They're locked! Don't worry. Russell will get it. That kind of hurt. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. This is awesome. What the hell are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy. You left us and everything went down the toilet. I beat you once, I'll beat you again. Now, Russell, no!
Never kick ball through brick wall. Someone's here to see you. Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. Bunch of bitches. That was incredibly satisfying. Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you, what is that in your hand? Weapons are for prefects only. No! Get off my little body! Grr! Grr! 
Slow down so Russell can smash you! Aw, oh, come on! Your attention, please! Jimmy is complete human trash! Dare you, little bitch! Come out! James, I've been waiting! Let the games begin! Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I won your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! Careful, don't hurt yourself. If you prove to be one thing this year, it's slow. You'll never catch me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Poor little Jimmy. All alone in big, scary boars. Under fire from Russell and his goons, desperate for help. So sad, so hopeless, just needing a friend, any friend. You were so easy to manipulate, Jimmy. And once we were friends, it was all so clear. You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious. Let Jimmy have his fun. Let him play his childish little games with Ernest, Ted, Darby, Johnny, and Edgar, and just wait for the right moment to take it all. It was like lining up dominoes. It all felt together so well, you were off wasting your time with whores like Lola, I was in the dorm planning. While well, you were racing bikes, If I win, you're just another punk! You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would've if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> you're smarter than me! You hate everyone and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> no! What are you doing? Jimmy, get out of my face! After you're expelled from here, back off!
Smith! I heard the whole thing. You're expelled. Come and untie me, boy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rocks in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, well, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is...